Floppy Catters and welcome to our final product review video of the Jimmy JB83 cordless stick vacuum cleaner. In this final review video, I'm going to show you all the tools and accessories that come with the Jimmy JB83. Without further ado, let's get into it. First up, and the one that I used the most was the motorized brush head tool, which can be used for a litter scatter or cat hair or what have you. Here you can see I'm picking up litter scatter around our litter boxes and it's really easy to maneuver so you can easily you know, go into those tight spaces and those corners to get anything. It's also super lightweight so it's easy to pick up a rug while you're vacuuming for example to just get underneath the rug. The vacuum itself has a really powerful suction so it picks up cat hair really easily and it has the same no wrap brush head that the JV51 that, re that we reviewed had. And this footage right here, I didn't put all that cat hair there. That's actually a result of my cats fighting and that's what they leave are these clumps all over the floor. Um, it happens probably once every three months and it happened while we were reviewing this so that worked out pretty well i don't ever like them fighting but that's what happened so it worked out great for video purposes i also like how low it can get underneath the chair for example so you don't have to move out the chair here i'm showing you the three power modes so it has a low medium and high power mode i chose to run it in high power mode all the time i really don't understand the purpose of the lower power modes other than the, obviously the battery is gonna last longer. But for me, I prefer the high power mode. The cool thing about the no wrap brush head is that you can easily pick it up and use it on like an ottoman or uh, you know my, my couch that I was using in a, just a clip before. And because there's no bristles on the brush, then it doesn't like snag the fabric it just pulls off the cat hair. And obviously with the high suction power, it's gonna pull off like dust and debris as well. So here I am just vacuuming one of Charlie's beds. Usually I'd grab a lily brush and knock that sucker out really fast, but because I was reviewing it, I decided to go ahead and try to do it that way. These no hair wrap brush roll heads aren't totally you know, foolproof. This would eventually get sucked up in um, once it got to the center after it's rolling, rolling, rolling. But sometimes it's easier just when you're done vacuuming to pull it out and then um, have it sucked in there or just uh, go ahead and throw it in the trash. But I, I like to look at it after every vacuum just to make sure it's still performing okay. Um, and then also I always empty out the waste canister after every vacuum as well. The amount of hair it picks up is really impressive and it doesn't leave the inside of this canister all coated with dust, you know, from litter or just general house dust, which is a big difference that I've seen in the Jimmy JV83 compared to other cordless stick vacuums that we have reviewed. So now I'm gonna show you how you go about emptying it into the trash can. I always empty it right after I'm finished vacuuming. So I'll run it for its full, on its max mode, max suction power for the full time. I figure I probably need to do that extra vacuuming anyway, which lasts about nine and a half minutes. I've timed it and we'll include that in our full written review, which I'll link to below. But to empty the canister, all you need to do is pull this latch right here, and then that's basically loose cat litter scatter. Will fall out. What I found is the hair itself kind of stays wrapped around that cent center um, suction thing. So you kind of have to pull that out, which is gross, but I think it really shows how powerful this vacuum is because it's all wrapped around there and it's not, hanging out on the sides and stuff. I'm really impressed with this vacuum and its suction power. If you wanted to clean it, oh, there's a lock mode right there. Oh, that's the other thing, is sometimes when the battery runs out, 
and then I empty it, the battery has like a little bit more power. So that's why I also find it really valuable to empty it every time you're done using it because the when the hair gets in there and everything, then that reduces the amount of suction that I've discovered. So it's just good to empty it out so you have the most suction power when you vacuum. So to release that bottom part, there's this little red button here that you press down and then you can release it that way instead of releasing that bottom canister if you wanted. And then like the JG, JV51, all of this is removable to rinse off and clean if you wanted. And the recommendations on rinsing off and cleaning is that you just want to, um, you know, run it under warm water or, or cold water, make sure it's completely rinsed, and then let it air dry for probably 24 hours. And then you can just twist it all back in to put it back together. We haven't had ours long enough um, yet to do all of that. I think that's on. So I'm not gonna clean it yet, but I think just, you know, basically when it gets really dusty, and this one hasn't, um, I think from the design and the amount of suction power, it hasn't. And then I'll charge it for our next go. I really like how this one charges as well. The lithium battery that's attached to the handheld portion of the vacuum is removable. So you can charge it like this, like I have it now connected to the handheld vacuum, or you can press this release tab to remove the battery from the handheld part and just charge the battery. So if you were to get an extra battery for this, you could just have it easily on your counter ready to charge and grab for the next vacuum. Of course, when it is charged, it will have a green light instead of the red one. And then you just simply slide this back onto the handheld when it's all charged and ready to go. One of the benefits of this vacuum is that it comes with this expandable hose. So you put the hose side in one side and then choose the attachment that you want uh, to use. And what I like about this is in areas like underneath our cat power tower there, it's hard for me to get at an angle where I can get down with the vacuum like that, um, especially in that little area. So this flexible hose allows me to get in all the areas I want um, without having to finagle my hands and the vacuum to do so. So you can see here how it easily grabs dust, debris, cat hair, and more. It basically can run for about nine minutes on high, but this would be a situation where you could run it on the lower medium setting, which can run from 20 to 40 minutes and sometimes even 60 minutes. Here I am using it on a chair that Trig sits on all the time, pretty much all afternoon. And it has quite a bit of cat hair on it. So it's kind of testing just how it pulls cat hair off. But I really, if I was doing this without product testing, I would just use my Lily brush to get up the big chunks. Like see that big chunk in the corner there? And then I would just vacuum the chair down after I would gotten the big chunks off because it doesn't pull the big chunks off as well as a lily brush does. Lily brush definitely needs to sell their product to a vacuum company. If you have a place that's above your head that you need to clean that it might be angled like on top of your refrigerator, for example, this little extension angular thing is great. I'm sure it's not called that, but I can't remember what it's called at the moment. So you can change it to varying degrees. There's one, two, three different degrees types, and you can just change it according to, obviously that's 180, um, change it to whatever angle you need it for. So I'm gonna do the top of my refrigerator, which needs an angle about like that. And then you just take the accessory that you want to use, in this case, which is the dusting brush, um, and then I'll easily be able to access the top of the refrigerator without having to angle my arm in order to do it. Here's the top of my refrigerator, which just makes me chuckle because how many times did I ever think in my life that I would be filming and putting on the internet 
images of the top of my refrigerator. The additional length also helps for getting dust and cobwebs and whatnot up on crowd molding. They call this accessory the motorized mattress tool, I believe. So it's basically a motorized brush head that moves when it's powered on. In all of our other stick vacuum videos, I've used this piece, which is a carpeted top to our cat power tire, which is a cat tree that's no longer made. And just to show you guys how it works, we'll use it again on this. So power it on. And I'll do max mode. The thing with these motorized brush heads is that they're spinning and then you have the suction power of the main unit as well. And so doing it one handed can be tough at times, especially if the thing that you're vacuuming isn't anchored down. So that's why I'm using my other hand here and kind of, you really have to work at it and push at it, push on it hard in order to get the suction power. So this didn't have a lot of cat hair on it. I've kind of learned not to do it that way. Like I use a Lily brush, which is a pet hair removal brush before I use uh, one of these motorized tools because otherwise it just gets to be really clogged up in there. Uh, but there's a little bit of hair on here and also there was a little bit on the brush roll, which I wadded up into a little ball. The brush roll on this one is really, really nice because you can actually remove it. So you just twist it up here and then you unlock it to when you twist it. And then you just pull out the brush roll. So that gives you complete access to pick off any clumps of hair, anything that didn't get vacuumed through. And then just to replace it, you put it back in, you have to line it up a little bit with these little notches. So you put it back in. You can also just kind of wait till you hear it, hear it go in and feel it go in and then lock it back into place and it's ready for its next round. I'm not crazy about these motorized brush tools that the, the little guy I don't see a lot of use for them in my house but perhaps they work well in others and if you do use yours a lot please tell me how you use it and where you use it because I'd be curious to try it in my house. The crevice tool combination tool dust brush is one of those tools that comes with these stick vacuums that has made me appreciate cordless stick vacuums so much more because of vacuuming behind my refrigerator. I can't tell you how many times that I have to go and get a handheld vacuum, plug it in, unwind the cord, do all that business. And it's so easy with these stick vacuums and especially with the crevice tool. Um, I also hit up my basement where I had bugs and cobwebs and whatnot. So just really easy to get around corner, nooks and crannies basically and corners and then also um, so much easier to vacuum up these little things other than rather than using a broom. And then I could get around my water heater and more items in the basement. And then I also have a bunch of paint cans in the basement and I was able to get between them as you'll see in a minute and also here on the windowsill where dirt from the outside is blown in. It's not usually a place I think of vacuuming, but when I'm reviewing these products, it ends up being perfect. And because they're so, it's so lightweight, you can get into all those nooks and crannies. The last of the accessories is this two-in-one upholstery brush. It's much like the crevice tool where you have a two-in-one brush 
you've got the crevice and then the brush that you can push up. Um, same with this one. So the brush is up now and to push it back down, it's kind of hard, but you just push in this lever, which releases that. And then you can push it down to access just the flat head if you don't want the brush. And then to bring it back up, push the lever down and pull up. And then it just slides into that hole like the crevice tool. And, or you can use the expandable wand, the extension wand with it, or just um, that little angular tool if you prefer. I don't really know what you use the brush for other than like quick little pickups. So like right here, I've got some debris left from some of my succulents back there. Or maybe some of this, uh, well, there's cobwebs here too, but uh, some of the cardboard shavings from the cats scratching their nails or even cat shreds. There's a little bit of that. These are just good for cobwebs and cat hair and stuff like that. So there's a good amount that gets caught on that brush that I'll need to pull out. But what I've found is if you just turn on the vacuum and pull this off and just redirect it back into the suction area, then it all gets picked up or sucked in. Cutters, that wraps up our final review video for the Jimmy JV83. I'm laughing because it is so hard to get the two of them in my hands and video at the same time. So I'm gonna let this one go. Oh, that's scary. So the only thing that I don't think is covered in this video that is really cool about the JV83, did I say 51 earlier? Uh, um, is that it comes with this wall mount. The wall mount obviously attaches the main unit to it and then that hangs off of this part. And then this little slot here, I'm gonna let you go, is for accessories. The only thing is that it doesn't hold all the accessories. So I wish that the wall mount was a little more robust in its offerings so that it did hold everything that it came with so it's like one stop shopping because otherwise you know where are you going to randomly store this or store that you have to like find a plastic tote box or a shelf or something like that to put them on so while I love this wall unit and love that they offer it as an option I wish that it held everything that came with the JV83. One thing that I always like to cover in a video is whether or not in a review video, whether or not I would buy this machine myself, uh, especially after reviewing it and like having it in my house. And there are some things that we review that I wouldn't necessarily need in my own home, but I would buy this. And the reason why is because of the suction power, because the suction power just blew me away as far as how much it will pick up and then how clean it stays because of the suction power, like everything, the centrifugal force keeps everything in the center and it doesn't, you know, push it on the outside. So the, the canister itself stays relatively clean. I also would love to see a brush head that isn't no wrap, that is the traditional one that will like get into the fibers of a carpet. And, and they're supposed to be coming out with that. So there might be that attachment later, which would be nice. But other than that, yes, it has everything that you would need and want. Um, in a cordless stick vacuum. Super handy in a house that has cats because of cat hair, cat litter scatter. Um, super handy in a house that has kids. I actually gave the JV51 to my sister-in-law and the other night I came over serendipitously and the kids were in the bath uh, and the bathtub taking a bath and she was vacuuming with the JV51 while they were in the bath. 
um, they're old enough where she can wash them and do that. So they're just great for quick pickup and I like them a lot. I'll include a link to where you can buy one in the about section below. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Maybe I could do another video if you had a specific thing that I didn't cover. And also, if you haven't yet, please be sure to subscribe to our newsletter, which is also linked to in the about section below. It includes all of our reviews that we do, um, our weekly blog posts and all that kind of stuff, as well as just kind of fun stuff, like if I'm doing a vlog about the cats outside or whatever, a lot of people seem to enjoy those. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.